Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Ania Zangye and if this is your first time here, welcome. Here on this channel, I like to do makeup, hair, vlogs, lifestyle videos, a little bit of everything. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and subscribe. Okay y'all, y'all can see we are here in my car. I'm giving y'all an updated car tour, clean with me, everything, okay? In the first part of this video, I'll be cleaning out my car with you guys and putting in some new Amazon favorites that I got from my car and let you guys see the essentials that I like to keep in my car. And then I'm gonna sit down and have like a chit chat about my car, the things that I like about my car, the things that I've learned about my car since I posted my first video when I first got the car. And I'm gonna tell you my future plans with the car because your girl's lease is up this year. So yes, I am leasing this car. It was the best decision that I made and I'm going to tell you guys what I'm thinking about getting next. So just stay tuned and right now you guys are going to clean with me. Ugh, disclaimer y'all, your girl's car is a mess. When I say a mess, I mean a mess. So I haven't cleaned my car in like three months. <laughs> trifling right so i have a trash bag here i got me some light sauce spray and some glass cleaner so i'm just gonna clean it out really quick the sun is about to go down so i'm gonna try to hurry up and do it and then we're gonna talk about everything else i told y'all was gonna talk about okay so let's go y'all really quick i want to give y'all an update about what my car is looking like right now you see there's junk everywhere if we come back here the back seat honestly is not that bad because i don't have any kids or nobody sits back there now here is my trunk and here's some of the things that i'm going to be putting in my car not that bad and then here is the musty passenger side where i have all my crap and yes i have mcdonald's today don't judge <laughs> so let's start cleaning it up got me my trash bag Y'all, this is a mini trash can that I got from Amazon, and I really love it. So I'm just going ahead and empty that out. There's so many masks in here. This thing holds a lot of trash, so I'm going to go ahead and put a new bag in it as well. Not only does it have clips right here, but it also has a light during the nighttime. And it's on right now, but you can't see it, obviously. so compact first I'm gonna go around clean out all the trash in my car then I'm gonna organize my things and then wipe everything down and then apply the new stuff so let's clean it out guys this is an amazing air pump and this is my boyfriend's i stole it from him but if you ever have like a flat tire on the side of the road or anything it has you know a car charger that you can use to plug it up and it pumps really fast so in my trunk i like to keep a vacuum cleaner vacuum cleaner oh here it is so i keep it down here y'all can see i have a little storage area underneath the top part i used to have some led lights in my car but i'm gonna throw these out because i don't use them anymore they're stuck to everything oh shit and this is the old sterile covers i used to have in my car i don't know why i still have it my handy dandy window scraper
here's some cup holders that I got on Amazon when I first bought my car. And I just have them back here. And I have two up front. But every time I push this up, they come out. But oh well. Why do I have this in my car? All right, y'all, we're almost done. We're about to get to the fun part, but right now, look. Y'all know I keep this thing on my Prindle thing, whatever that thing is called, my little gear shift. I think that's what it's called. So it's time to throw this away and pick out my new one for this season. But before that, I gotta clean all this off and wipe it all down. So give me a second and then I'll be right back to decorate the car with y'all. Right, guys so the sun is going down i'm done pretty much cleaning up my car now i really want to get it detailed because to be honest the vacuum that i have is nice for quick pickups here and there but to get it really detailed and get all the crumbs and stuff like out the side i need to go get a detail and get a real vacuum cleaner for that but here is my favorite part the decorating part and i got this pink fluffy stairwell cover from amazon of course Um, I used to have a dark royal blue one in here and y'all saw I had the lighter blue one a few years ago so every year I will change it out. Sometimes I'll take them off in the summertime because it gets too warm. Sometimes I'll leave it on and then my air fresheners up here I'm going to head and change them out as well. So I love the little trees of course. I like to get them to match my stair wool cover. I didn't get any pink ones. This is just the one I had laying around in my car so I'm going to use this one but trust me if somebody at a gas station I'm going to get a pink one so I can match my stair wool cover. And I also have my SG Row my estuary number up here on my what is this called on my rear view mirror but i'm thinking i might change that out as well just so everything can go with the color scheme so let's take this out take this out as well and fluff it out now with the steering wheel cover like i told you i just took the dark blue one off of my gear shift so i'm gonna put a new one on now it doesn't fit so i have to cut it on the side but it'll just go right on my handle like the other one was and they also, it also comes with this. I guess like this is for like an emergency break or something, but I don't have that in my car. So I always try to find something where I could put this on, but honestly, I don't know where I could put this. <laughs> I'm not sure where I could put it. And it doesn't open up because I could have put it on the seatbelt, but it doesn't open up. So I think my first year I tried to put on the door handle, but that wasn't cute. I don't know where I could do. <gasps> Guys, I could put it on my windshield wiper. Hello? Hi. Hey, sorry, my brother had called me, but I'm gonna go ahead. Y'all gonna watch me struggle to put this on because I always struggle. It fits, I just have to open it up all the way around. Oh my god, that's the first time I got it on the first try. Look at this bright pink thing. Now, of course, it's gonna get more fluffy as I drive. The blue one that I took off it covered up some of the lights on the dash, and your girl didn't like that, so I'm happy this one doesn't cover it. But I'm happy it's pink and it's just so me. I tried to stick with the blue because I was like, I don't want to put a bright pink thing in the Lexus. But I was like, why not? It's my favorite color. So that's what I did. I'm going to take these down. And I'm going to take my SG Road number down as well. Look how stretched out this thing is. It is time to retire the Tiki necklace. So I'm going to have nothing up here but my air fresheners. And if y'all know, y'all know. You just take out a little bit of the air freshener. I know you're supposed to only take out half of the air freshener, y'all, but I'm going to take the whole thing off because I don't like seeing that plastic thing on my air freshener. And boom. I also went ahead and bought some more wipes on my car for when I am pumping the gas. Most of the time, my boyfriend pumps the gas for me. Like, we'll plan to go out and pump the gas so he can pump it. But when I do have to pump the gas or, like, I spill something in my car, I love having wipes on hand. I have a pack of these pamper wipes, but I also have Clorox wipes and Lysol wipes. A little bit extra, but that's okay. And I also like to keep paper towels in my back seat in the back pocket just in case anything happens. Your girl always has to be prepared. And then I also had to re-up on my hand lotion. I like to keep a mini travel lotion in my car. This is the Nivea kind. And along with a mini travel lotion, I also keep deodorant and and perfume in my car and i also keep a little bottle of essential oil spray just in case my car is smelly y'all because you know sometimes i can get a little smelly i'm gonna go ahead and spray that now though 
Oh, it smells so good. When I'm using this spray, I like to spray it on the carpet so it can the scent can really seep into the fabric. I don't like spraying it just up in the air because since this is oil, sometimes it can leave like residue on my seats and your girl is not a fan of that. So we're done like cleaning it out and organizing everything. If I do get any more car essentials, I will definitely show you guys. But everything that I mentioned in this video is mostly from Amazon and I will leave it down below in my storefront. So make sure you check that out. All right, y'all. So I'm going to give y'all a little mini tour really quick. If you want a full in depth tour, make sure y'all go watch my last video will be linked up here okay of course it is a push button start up here i have my nav and everything it does come with apple carplay so i can make calls read text messages use gps and everything up there so this is the normal display that it has right here is how you control everything so you just move it around now you can hit menu home menu is used for when you're in apple carplay mode and then home of course that will take you back home that will take you back i just wanted to show carplay for you guys really quick i have my phone connected as you can see i have gps right here on the side i'm not gonna click it because it shows my location of course then i have my music calls and then the overview menu and here's the overview menu where you can select multiple different things you can go over you can add apps to this and and then it will display all your messages up here like that but it doesn't show exactly what it says but if you want to read something i'll go to my brother's messages because we don't talk about anything and in you your can play group with bruva and jason bruva said sweet i should be there around 4 30. reply to the here. group cancel okay so yeah i just want to show you guys how that works and then here is the view from the steering wheel over here are the buttons that i was telling you guys about that will be actual buttons in other cars but since my car is a base it doesn't do anything and here on the side of course we have the mirror options all the windows let me make sure they're up they definitely weren't and then of course the lock and you can put the windows in lock as well and it'll have a green light if they are locked these buttons right here controls the brightness of inside the car now you can put your trip for this or you could turn it off up here is like a mini menu y'all and you control it with the buttons on the steering wheel so you have audio you have the lanes and it'll show you if you're driving over a lane and then your messages will display up here not text messages or important messages like if my tire pressure is low if i have no gas or anything like that all those messages for my car to make sure my car is okay will appear up there and then if you go over this is the settings for your car so you can turn your lane assist on or off your steering assist on or off for the alert this is the intensity of the alert when you're switching lanes and this is the sensitivity and then you have your beeping for when you're getting close to something the sensitivity your blind spot monitors you can turn them on or off i don't know why anybody would turn them off rcta i don't know what that is this has something to do with the blind spot mirrors because it just came on and if you want to go back there's a little back button and you go down you can convert your units you can do vehicle settings all the little pictures right here schedule maintenance i did not know you can schedule a maintenance and you can do oil maintenance no i didn't know you could reset data Ooh. so go down a little bit further as y'all can see i don't have many things right here in another model they may have more things on the menu but i don't have much and if you go over here it shows you your tire pressure your girl needs some air in that back tire again this is a blank screen might have more if it was a different car you when you're driving it will show you if you're using power the electric system and whatnot and then this is the range for the mileage this button controls that up there this is the back button and this is how you move around and everything of course this is your volume when you click that the microphone comes on you can say a command we're gonna go back and cancel that you can make a phone call. It brings up the phone display right here. You can turn your beeping on or off. Lane assist. The mode is music. So if I click that button, the stations will change. So Sirius, AM, FM, you know. And then that is my phone connected to that. Like I was telling y'all, your girl didn't know how to set cruise control. This is how you set it. You just click this button, press set and then click it up to the speed that you want to go to to cancel of course you just hit cancel to switch songs you use these buttons last thing i want to show you guys is this is how you use volume now this is the radio of course this is the different medias you want to switch to you can tune the radio stations this way don't ask me what these are i don't know also it displays your passenger airbag is off it senses the weight even though nobody's over there i have things in my seat so it'll let me know that the airbag is off um that's helpful because if somebody is actually over there and the airbag is off that's not good but guys really quick 
quick why before the sun goes down i just wanted to wrap up this video and just talk about my car like an overview of my car and everything i know i made a video when i first got my car but it's been two years now two three years now since i had my car two or three dang your girl got her car in 2018 it's about to be 2022 it's supposed to be four years i don't i feel like i just recorded that video y'all oh my god it's about to be four years since i've had my car anyway when i first got the car i was easily impressed easily impressed because i said oh my god it's a brand new car and i went to get purchase the car by myself my whole family is in the car business and i have no knowledge of cars so knowing that i should have took someone to come with me to figure out what i was looking for i was just so excited to just get my own car in my name that i just went with the first thing i saw and i was like boom okay so i got the car what i didn't realize that it doesn't have butt warmers this is a base model y'all i didn't know anything about a base some a middle and a souped up i didn't know about all the extras you could add into a car or anything i should have asked more questions should have done more research so this car doesn't have any butt warmers this car does not have a power trunk it doesn't have any sunroof um and it's a lot of buttons on my car that are just blank that would normally be other buttons in a higher grade of my car if that makes sense i don't know if grade is i guess higher class of my car if that makes sense what i really love about this car that i just started using within this last year no last within this last year i just started using my car in eco mode and oh my gosh it has made a difference you guys now I only fill up once every two weeks okay once every two weeks and this does take premium gas and it's about 35 to 40 dollars it can range before i started driving in eco mode guys i was just driving in regular drive whatever you want to call it using gas i was filling up once every single week when my aunt told me put your car in eco mode and watch your acceleration i always thought that you couldn't speed with eco mode no you just have to watch how you accelerate and it will show you on the dashboard when i'm accelerating and how much is it using of the power and how much is it using of the hybrid okay and it shows you when the car is charging everything i really like that now that i've gotten to know my car a little bit more i will say the features that i really like within this car especially the is the lane assist i really love the lane assist and the blind spot monitor y'all people don't know how to drive and sometimes i could be one of those people that just be but I like to do a little quick zoom in and zoom out and those blind spot monitors really help me or if I'm like not texting and driving because that's illegal but if I'm doing something else that's preoccupying me and my steering wheel shifts my car will quickly put me back in line and y'all this is another thing that I didn't know about my car when I first shot my video I didn't know how to set cruise control I'll always press the button. I'll be like, oh my God, it's not working. It won't let me do it. My line sister last year on our way down to Atlanta showed me how to actually set the car in cruise control and use the different speeds and everything like that, y'all. Changed my life. A complete game changer. Now, like I said, I did choose to lease this car. I could have bought something outright, but what I like about Elise, my aunt talked me into it because she does work for Lexus, but what I like about Elise is that, first of all, I'm not committed to this car. So I, I love the fact that I did not commit to this car. I would be so upset if I didn't have the things that I want in this car and this was my car and my name. I like that I can give the car back. I like that I could just bring it to Lexus when I have any problems. They, it helps me stay up with the maintenance and everything. It is so easy. Now, we'll say my 30,000 miles is coming up for that 30,000 miles you guys he said expect it to be about $800 now I don't know if that's really how much it's gonna be but I know when you have a lease and this is how they try to get you because they think you don't know but I have family and I ask questions that you only are required to pay for certain things you do not have to pay for everything that they recommend that is something that I didn't know if you're a car person you might have already knew that but that is how they get you and that is how they get over on you y'all so moving forward I don't know if I'm gonna keep Alexis my brother does work for Kia now and he has a family or friends discount and he was showing me some of his cars and how much souped up i can get it to be with paying the same payment that i pay now and i think i might go that route and just have a payment but once i'm done paying it the car will be mine and if i do decide to go that route of course i'll bring you guys along for one but for two i'll make sure that i have everything that i don't have in this car in that car when you hear lexus you just think of luxury and for me yes this car is nice it doesn't make any noise when i drive when i cut it on it's extremely quiet i love that um, i've never had that in a car but i just expected so much more from this and i know this is a base model and a standard model whatever you want to call it you guys i just expected more 
I just expected more. But driving this car has taught me how much I love a hybrid. I love a hybrid and I love how I sit in this car. I've always been scared to drive a truck because it sits up a little higher. I live in the city. Things are tight when you're parking and stuff. But this car, I feel like I'm able to whoop, whoop, whip it in there. My backup camera is so helpful. So helpful the only other thing i wish i had on this car which might be in other cars is the fact that you know how you get too close to something in the front i wish i had that and i wish i had a 360 camera i don't know if that's too much to ask but i wish i had a 360 camera where i could see like me pulling in a spot and pulling out a spot <sighs> I rambled on enough if you guys watch this video thank you so much for watching this video if you have any car essentials or car favorites that i didn't mention or that i could try out please let me know down below and tell me what are you driving right now what's your dream car this definitely is not my dream car my next car may not even be my dream car you guys but i'm definitely trying to move up and progress with each car that i get before i buy a new car towards the end of the year i'm definitely going to do a lot more research yeah and just determine what i like and what i have i am done talking thank you guys for watching this video please like comment share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video love you guys bye